Today we're going to be talking about one of the biggest problems that most sellers have when they're dropshipping on a platform like Etsy. This is why we have problems. If you're not getting many or any sales on Etsy, then it's probably because your SEO sucks. Now, if you want your products to come up in front of the eyes of new potential customers, then the one thing that needs to be optimized more than anything is going to be your SEO or your search engine optimization. Now, how does this work? Well, Etsy works as a sort of Google per se. It's pretty much working like a search engine and it's searching for terms that customers Customers are inputting when they're looking for their products. Now, Etsy SEO takes into consideration tags, descriptions, and titles. So in this video, we're gonna be covering how you can optimize your SEO on Etsy. So that way you can start making more sales. What's going on everyone, Mario here with AutoDS. And if you don't know who I am, well, obviously you probably know because it's gonna say it right there or like right there, I'm not sure, one of the two sides, but I'm the content creator over here at AutoDS bringing you all of this valuable information so that way you can succeed in your dropshipping business. Not only that, I have actually been selling on Etsy for about four or five years now. and I've I've learned what works and what doesn't. Whether it be selling from your own stock or with dropshipping, I've been messing around with Etsy for quite some time now and it's actually something that I really enjoy. I love Etsy as a selling platform and I think it's absolutely fantastic. Now with that being said, the first tip that I'm going to give you when it comes to optimizing your SEO is going to be think like a customer. Don't think like a seller. What I mean by that is when you start coming up with your titles, start thinking about how the customer is going to read it or how the customer is also going to search for it. If they're looking for a piece of wall art, are they going to be searching, let's say, boho style wall art? Or or are they going to be searching for boho style minimalist wall art upscale painting family room decor now stick with me for a little bit because for this part the answer might surprise you now the primary focus when it comes to etsy seo is going to be the titles and the tags the description is also taken into consideration and so are the different attributes for a listing but by far the two most crucial aspects are going to be the title and the tags now to start we're going to go into optimizing your titles and one thing that i am going to tell you is use keywords in both your tags as well as your titles and make sure they match so you're going to be using Using some of the same keywords in both your tags and titles. And just as a quick bonus, make sure you throw them into your description as well. Now, when it comes to optimizing your titles, be descriptive. Don't just write wall art or don't just write boho wall art because think of it this way. When somebody is going to Etsy and they're searching up just wall art, they don't know what they're looking for. They're exploring what the different options are in wall art while somebody that goes into Etsy and starts typing in boho minimalist style wall painting. Then in that case, this person knows exactly what they're looking for and they're going to Etsy to go make that purchase. So if if your keywords can match that in one way or another, then your listing is going to come up and you're going to have a higher potential to actually make a sale. So let me give you an example of a title that I would write for a cat t-shirt. So I went ahead and wrote an example title right now. And this one says perfect cat t-shirt and it has a little space with that little stick. I'm not entirely sure what it's called. Sorry about that. Then retro movie cat shirt, another break, and then funny cat shirt. This is an example of how you do not want to do it. So right off the bat, the first thing I'm going to tell you with this type of title is the fact that with those breaks with any extra punctuation, whether it be a dash, this little stick thingy, a comma, a period, whatever it may be. If you have any punctuations in there, it's going to break up your SEO. Now, what do I mean by that? So in this case, the only keywords that you're going to be ranking for are going to be perfect cat t-shirt, retro movie cat t-shirt, and funny cat shirt. Now let's rewrite this in a way where you're going to be able to rank for maybe three or four times as many different keywords. All right. So here we have funny cat shirt, cute kid in tea, for friend, birthday gift for cat lover. That makes no sense, right? But think of it this way. So here, what we're going to be ranking for is quite a few different keywords, long tail keywords to be exact. So the first one we're going to rank for is going to be funny cat shirt. Then the next one is going to be funny cat shirt, cute kid in tea. Then the other one is going to be cute kid in tea for friend. Then we're going to have another one here. That's going to be cute kid in tea. Then we're also going to have another one. That's going to be birthday gift for cat lover. And on top of that, Etsy is also going to take these different keywords and it's going to mix and match them. So you can also expect to be ranking for funny cat shirt for friend birthday gift or funny funny cat shirt for cat lover or cute kitten tea for cat lover. Typing everything together while visually it doesn't make a lot of sense. When you break it down into little sections, it makes a ton of sense because in this case, you're going to be ranking for a bunch of different search terms and a bunch of different keywords. Now, what if you don't know what keywords to rank for? What if you don't know how to describe your product? Well, it's simple. Just go on Etsy and look up for similar products. So in this case, we're just simply looking for cat t-shirts. Now, of course, you're not going to want to use every single one that you find here because because some of them aren't going to be relevant. Like let's say this one cat playing guitar shirt. Maybe your cat shirt isn't a cat playing guitar. Maybe it's just a cat, I don't know, with a lightsaber or something like that. So I came up with two different listings that I found and these are some of the keywords that we can take from them so that way we can use them for our own listings. So in this case, we have cowboy cat t-shirt, meowdy shirt, funny cat, blah, blah, blah. So from here, what we can do is we can go ahead and take funny cat shirt for women, men, kids, crazy cute cat, catnip madness, vintage, cool retro cat graphic shirt kitten. We can take a bunch of those 
those different keywords and we can actually apply them to whatever catcher that we're doing. And then we can apply some specifics. So in this case, they have a cowboy cat. And if we're doing, let's say a Cat Wars or Star Wars parody cat t-shirt, we can put Cat Wars. As another example here, I have another cat t-shirt. So here we have cat shirt, cat mom shirt, cat shirt, cat mom, cat lover, shirt, cat lover, gift, cute, and a bunch of other words. So the same as before, we can start to take some of these different keywords and we can put them into our listings. Now, one thing I am going to mention is you do not want to repeat too many keywords. It's okay to repeat them maybe once or twice, but if you find yourself writing cat, 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 maybe four or five different times in a sentence, maybe it's time to change up some of those terms. So go from cat to kitten to maybe kitty or whatever words you can think of for cat that people tend to use or search for. Now, as another example, let's say you're selling a wooden handmade cup. So we have this one, modern handmade cup, comma, cute wooden DIY cup, wood mug, comma, coffee lovers cup. Instead of using this, go ahead and replace it with something like this. So handmade wooden coffee cup for coffee lovers, cute natural mug. Really quick before we start dissecting this title, another thing that I am gonna mention is try to use as much of the title as possible. If you can fill up the entire space for the title, all 140 characters, do so. Now, what keywords are we ranking for with this particular title? So we have handmade wooden coffee cup. We have just wooden coffee cup. We have handmade coffee cup, coffee cup for coffee lovers, wooden coffee cup for coffee lovers, coffee lovers, cute natural mug, just simply cute natural mug, and even handmade cute natural mug. As you can see from this one title, we're getting a bunch of different keywords that we're going to be ranking for. So now what about tags? Well, tags are also fairly similar. For one, you want to be descriptive. Two, you want to use long tail keywords versus short tail keywords. And three, you want to pack in as much as you can in those tags. And you also want to use all of the options for tags that you have. So you can put up to 13 different tags on your Etsy listings. Use all 13 of them. Now, how do you structure your tags? Well, pretty much the same way that you're doing your titles. Be descriptive, except in this case, you can't use as many characters or as many words as you can in your titles. So what you can do is, let's say if one particular tag doesn't fit, you can break it up into two. So under your tags, instead of just putting wall art, as you can see, this already took up the space of one tag, we can go ahead and make it more descriptive and put boho wall art. And that's our first one. Simple, it's not the longest, most descriptive one, but it works. It's specifying for boho style art. Now, if you wanna start using even more detailed keywords, then we can start going with something like this. So boho style, large family room, art deco. Now, as you can see, this is more than 20 characters. The limit for our characters when it comes to our Etsy tags is going to be 20 characters. So as I mentioned earlier, what you can do in this case is you can break it up. So what you can do in this case is instead of doing boho style large family room art deco, you can go ahead and put boho style room art. And then you can put the second part, which would be the large room art deco. There you go. Now remember that you don't always want to keep repeating the same keywords over and over. So for our next tag, we can go ahead and switch it up. So let's say it's a minimalist style boho art painting. Well, we can just go ahead and start putting minimalist style art, then modern bohemian style style, then modern bohemian. And to add to those, let's say if you want to add to the modern bohemian, then again, you can just go ahead with bohemian modern art. And from there, you can go ahead and just keep breaking it down into more descriptive keywords and more descriptive tags. Now, as a quick bonus, if you do want help with your Etsy keywords, if you want help with researching what keywords are trending and what's actually being used and how they rank, these are two different apps that you can use that actually really help. I've used one of these before and I absolutely love it. So the first one I want you to know about is Marmalade. Marmalade is great. I don't have an account with them at the moment. I used to, but I actually ended up moving to a different one. But with Marmalade, you can go ahead and check out your different search terms. You can check out your listings and you can see where your search terms and your tags and your keywords all rank. So that way you can make an informed decision on which ones to actually use. And the other app, which I used to use, I don't really use it that much anymore because I kind of just ended up figuring everything out myself is going to be Sales Samurai. Now, Sales Samurai is pretty similar when it comes to what it does. So you can check out different tags. You can check out the different keywords and you can see how they rank. On top of that, it also gives you suggestions for other keywords that you can use. And that's pretty much everything that you need to know to get started optimizing your titles as well as your tags for Etsy SEO or search engine optimization. Again, I can't stress enough how important it is to have these types of things optimized. Always, always, always have good keywords, always have proper titles and always fill out your tags. While some people say that tags don't work or they're not really taken into consideration anymore. Yeah, they are. Etsy on their website even has an entire section dedicated to using tags to be able to get found when people search for it. So if Etsy's telling you fill out the tags, fill out the tags. Do it!
So with that being said, I want to know what you think of everything when it comes to Etsy SEO. Is it easy? Do you find it simple? Is it something that you've been struggling with? Let me know down in the comments below. I would love to hear your thoughts. Also, if you found this video helpful while you're down there making that comment, go ahead and hit that like button. And while you're next to that like button, just scroll over a little bit and hit the subscribe button. It doesn't take that long to do so. And it truly helps out me and it helps out the channel. Now, with that being said, I want to say a huge thank you to all of you, especially if you made it all the way to the end. I really hope you found this video informational. I hope you found it helpful. At the end of the day, that is what this channel is here for. It is to be able to help you succeed in your dropshipping business with some of the best tips and tricks. So again, huge thank you to all of you for watching. My name is Mario with AutoDS. Let me know what you think down in the comments below of this video and about Etsy SEO, and I'll catch you guys next time.